Hi folks, here is much simpler method how you can install Windows 11 24H2. It's really a great operating system. It seems to run even twice as fast at some times than its predecessor and uh, how I did it. I've used uh, Raspberry Pi 5 without any kind of classic species. It had a Raspberry Pi OS. I've browsed the UU dump uh, web page. I've created installer package. Each installer package includes three different installers. One for Linux, one for Windows and the last one for Mac OS. So basically what you have to do is uh, to run the appropriate installer executable to start downloading all the necessary files uh, and to assemble ISO file. The tool that is able to assemble ISO file is area and uh, it does more or less all the things uh, automatically. What is important is that you have a quality drive where you pump the data from the internet so you don't get stalled or let's say with some poor SD card or something. I've used um, my Raspberry Pi with an attached old-fashioned uh, hard drive through a USB uh, to SATA controller. So this is really a very simple setup. Download went smoothly. I think that I could have used uh, also a good SSD card and it would have also worked. The major difference that I did was actually that I decided not to download the latest updates into the ISO file. It's no problem for me because I have a very good internet connection for my Raspberry Pi 5. Watch this video next to see how to make such a connection yourself. So uh, connecting through Raspberry Pi 4 or alternatively uh, you can also use your smartphone if you want to. But I suggest that you find another leftover Raspberry Pi install and return it and it's a perfect interface. So I basically don't have to worry about being able to download additional uh, software while Windows uh, is installing. So I did all this and then um, I set my uh, SSD drive, okay not SSD drive but uh, my SD card. I placed it into a USB uh, to SD card, micro SD card interface and I've connected it to one of uh, USB ports on my Raspberry Pi 5 and I rebooted Raspberry Pi 5 in, uh, in a, a mode that prioritizes boot from USB drive. In this case everything went uh, normally, it was very smooth, I got uh, through the installation process and I got to the setup process. Uh, at first uh, you are asked uh, to provide your language, you can select any language you want from the list and then you select your keyboard language, again everything is offered, uh, whatever you want from the list. Uh, the next thing that you have to do is connect to the internet, this is now mandatory, but uh, of course uh, if you would just connect a smartphone I'm not sure whether it would work or not. For me I was connected my trusty Raspberry Pi 4 which uh, ran Android uh, 11 and it was some kind of an interface uh, from USB to Ethernet so the fastest possible. So it worked real nice but uh, the problem is that the driver was not recognized uh, at the beginning. So to make uh, RN DIS driver work uh, I had to use a little trick. This is to hold down shift and then press F 10 key. This would open a command window. I wrote uh, control and enter. So I got control panel and from control panel I started the device manager. This was basically what was needed to for me to be able to install driver for RN, uh, RN uh, DIS uh, device. So I browsed in the tree to RN DIS device. I updated the driver the way that I said that uh, I would have installed drivers myself and that uh, later on I decided to pick uh, an appropriate driver from the list. I selected Microsoft and on the right hand uh, list I selected then USB RN DIS uh, driver 
and uh, later on I've uh, confirmed that I agree for the driver to be installed anyway so this means that even if it was unstable or whatever it worked fine and the internet connection was established and from now on it was all very simple Windows uh, determined that updates were not uh, downloaded yet and started simply downloading the updates with my previous test I've actually confirmed that direct uh, Ethernet connection if uh, a driver was uh, available uh, in my case uh, would not have exceeded uh, 100 megabits per second and uh, when I went through USB port uh, to my Raspberry Pi 4 and through Raspberry Pi 4 to the internet uh, it was also about uh, 100 megabits maybe a little bit more maybe let's say I don't know if it was 10% less or something but it was a very quick connection uh, basically it lists uh, about uh, 425 megabits per second through USB port so I have a 100 megabit connection to the internet uh, so this means that it was actually uh, fully used uh, no problem at all when I got uh, to Windows everything looked normally everything worked normally of course much faster than uh, in a previous version I could have I could install uh, games and so on so so it's uh, basically is what you want to have it's very responsive and very nice uh, operating system i like it so this concludes our video today i hope you will enjoy it too and uh, if you've liked this video please press uh, like and subscribe button don't forget about uh, the notification bell uh, see you next time